Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is E Phoenix N, and obviously, there's some more Fallout New Vegas. Unfortunately, um, I had a little screw up, and I'm a little farther in the game than I'm mean, meant to be. Um, my alarm clock went off right in the middle of when I was doing this, and it just was blaring like a mofo. And um, so, yeah, um, this is kind of, uh, you know, two minutes further in the game than uh, what I was meaning to record. Um, but anyway, that over there is Good Springs over those hit that hill there. Um, and I am going to Prim, which is this town with a roller coaster here in the distance. So that's generally what's going on. Um, nothing particularly exciting, except I killed a couple of uh, powder gangers that attacked me. That's about it. I forgot to steal your dynamite. Um, one good thing about dynamite is actually that it's a uh, pretty valuable, uh, pretty useful thing. And um, so yeah, there is that. Um, but anyway, one of the things I want to talk about um, as I have my first echelon of exploration, um, I step out of the, the threshold of the protected Good Springs area and start uh, wandering around the Mojave Wasteland in the New Vegas area. Um, what I wanted, oh shit, I just fast travel, yeah. Damn it. So if you're wondering what that big explosion was, there is mines in a lot of areas that are protecting it. And they're not impossible to see, but they're kind of hard to see. And, um, yeah, so they're just, they're just kind of hard to see. And it makes it a little difficult, um, to not, uh, not, uh, Injure your legs and blow off your legs. That, that's it. Oops. Um, but anyway, my story was first off, I want to say I work at a hotel, and this month, if you missed my last video on this, I what's his head, um, am working overnight shifts, meaning I am working from 7 p.m. That I work from 7 p.m. to our or 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Damn it, I just got hit with another fucking mine. That's a bit annoying. Um, so I worked the overnight shift. Anyway, one of my bosses had his mother staying there just because she was just trying to stay there. Um, and anyway, she uh, calls me about 1 o'clock in the morning and saying, like, hey, the room next to me is making a lot of noise. So I'm like, okay, you know, sorry about that. I'll go up there and uh, make sure they quiet down for being loud, you know. She's like, well, they're not having a party type of being loud. So it turns out the people next to my boss's mother were having some crazy drunken monkey sex, evidently. Which I think is quite hilarious, just because, I mean, what's the chance, realistically, that uh, it's my boss's mother? Um, <laughs> so that was kind of weird, not enough. So I go up there and I don't hear anything. And I was like, well, I guess they, uh, they got spent. They, uh, <laughs> they finished the debauchery, you know, whatever. And, um, so I, um, was like, okay, no big deal. And, uh, went back to the, the front desk area and, um, was like, hey, uh, or didn't even call her back, actually. I was just like, you know, there's, it's nothing going on. I'm assuming it's just stopping, so I'm just going to die, you little bastard. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, um, <laughs> anyway, she calls me about 2 o'clock, give or take a bit, maybe a little after that, I'm not really sure. And it's like, hey, um, well, these guys are not being quiet. Um... For that matter, they're um, being rather loud still. I can't sleep. Can you uh, please move me um, so that I'm uh, so I don't have to deal with this? You know, do this moving loud. She was nice and everything. She wasn't like yelling and angry. And I'm like, okay, because by the time this has been going on, this has been going on for literally like two and a half, three hours. So <laughs> anyway, I go up there and talk to her. And the funny, the funniest thing is his. Mother's kind of a MILF. Um, pretty hot. Like, his mother's about as hot as his wife is. And she looked, even though she's probably like 45 or 50, she looks like 
she's um I don't know, thirty. Um kind of cougarish looking to be honest. Um but anyway she uh I move her rooms and this and that and we we started making just started making we started making all these jokes about uh increased stamina and the press impressiveness of it and this and that. Um, of lasting that long as a guy and how like <laughs> anyway basically that um, you know if the guy was too young he couldn't have lasted that long but if he was too old he wouldn't have had the libido to, to keep going over and over again uh, <laughs> anyway it was pretty hilarious um, and which made it even more funny considering how much uh, well, just how much there was kind of a, um, I don't know, uh, just the fact that it was my, my boss's mother. I mean, it just cracked me up and made me laugh. Um, so to finish the story off, kind of uh, the last uh, the last part, which I found amusing, is I saw um, this woman leaving that room at like 3 o'clock in the morning where I was delivering receipts under their doors. Oh, uh, whatever, I don't care. Uh, Okay. Um, anyway, and I saw this woman leaving that room, and I realized, holy crap, I had seen this woman coming in about 11 o'clock at night, and guess what? She was the same girl. She asked how to get out, because I guess she didn't remember how to get out. And uh, so anyway, I'm pretty sure, about 95% sure that this girl was a call girl, and um, which kind of makes sense, because, you know, I'm... I wouldn't be surprised anyway, not that I have all that uh, first-hand experience by any means, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, someone that's a prostitute's like, quote-unquote, being very loud uh, to make the guy feel like, you know, he's doing a good job when it comes to that, but um, anyway. So I thought that was pretty funny, I thought I would, I'd share that little story with you, I thought it was kind of amusing as hell. Um, so yeah. Uh, Um, so I thought that was funny, because uh, uh, my boss's mother was actually like, I'm going to steal some stuff again, uh, my boss's mother was actually like, you know, I was beginning to think maybe there was, you know, multiple partners, because like, they, they just wouldn't stop, they kept going and going and going, which was making me laugh, and I, I was having a hard time not like, cracking a couple of really inappropriate jokes, um, <laughs> just because, well, <laughs> I mean, come on, that's kind of a funny situation. And then anyway, she was like, you know, I don't know if it was a couple or if it was more than one people, although it lasted a really long time, but I know, she's like, I know for a fact there was a woman in there. <laughs> um, anyway, so I thought that was kind of hilarious, so I thought I'd share that story with you. Uh, what's going on out here, buddy? Where would I do the job you're supposed to do? What the hell is the problem? Nothing wrong with the mission. Uh, 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 so that's about it. Um, anyway, uh, let's go into Prim. This is kind of like the side of Prim that's being guarded. That's nice, Prim and proper. Ha! Ah. <laughs> that's a really bad joke. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to go on the bad side of town. Um, anyway, guys, before I go over there, I'm going to pause. I am going to say good uh, good day. And I will talk to you guys later. See you all later. Peace out, guys. Have a good, good day. And I will uh, hit you up with the next video very soon.